When automobile production first began, paint was applied to the vehicle for a specific functional purpose, to keep the bare metal from rusting, corroding, and deteriorating. Color selection was limited, and durability was of little concern. During the late 1970s and early 1980s, vehicles benefited from vast improvements in durability and corrosion protection, while paint technologies underwent changes as well. Color selection and quality expectations became a high priority. In the mid-1980s, lacquer and enamel paint finishes started to be replaced by what is known today as base coat clear coat enamel finishes. This latest technology offers glossier, longer-lasting appearance, along with increased durability and less tendency to fade or discolor. But as with any technology, there are conditional limitations to the overall results. Once the vehicle's exterior parts and structure are painted, the vehicle continues through a long process of assembly with the paint finishes susceptible to damage. Additionally, exposure to heat, cold, humidity, salt, chemicals, and the sun's ultraviolet rays may also have adverse effects on a paint finish. This is particularly true during transportation. The vehicle's finish can be exposed to an extremely wide variety of conditions that may adversely affect the paint finish even before it arrives at your dealership. While all aspects of vehicle ownership and operation contribute to customer satisfaction, the vehicle's exterior appearance is particularly important. It's the most noticeable feature of the vehicle by the owner, as well as others looking at it. General Motors' continuous strive for improvement and customer satisfaction includes the latest advancements towards maximizing the appearance, durability, corrosion protection, and overall quality of the paint finishes on all GM vehicles. These steps help assure an optimum paint finish on the vehicles delivered to your dealership, and that will increase customer satisfaction with the delivery of their new vehicle. This new technology includes two unique protective coatings applied to the exterior of some 1995 vehicles, beginning with the Chevrolet Camaro and the Pontiac Firebird. Other vehicles may receive these protective coatings in the future. Applied at the assembly plant, these new coatings assure that the paint finish will be as flawless as when the paint was originally applied, even after assembly and transportation to your dealership. One protective coating is called Transseal, and the other is called WrapGuard. They're both temporary automotive paint finish protection systems. These coatings protect the paint finish from minor nicks, scratches, and abrasions, as well as from chemical etching, rail dust, salt corrosion, and other environmental hazards. First, let's look at a representation of the WrapGuard system. WrapGuard is a plastic adhesive-backed film applied in large sheets at the factory during an assembly line process that's similar to the one shown here. This film offers excellent protection to the vehicle's painted surface and is easily removed at your dealership. If the vehicle has WrapGuard protection applied, this film should only be removed prior to displaying the vehicle for sale or prior to delivering it to the customer. First, rinse off the wrap guard to reduce the chance of accidentally scratching the paint surface during removal. Then, simply peel off the white wrap guard film from the protective body panels and proceed with your vehicle pre-delivery practices as usual. Nothing more needs to be done to the vehicle to make it customer ready. Now, let's look at the Transseal protection system. Again, the application process has been modified for demonstration purposes. Sprayed on prior to assembly, Transseal is basically a latex emulsion that dries to a clear, tough, flexible vinyl film. After the vehicle arrives at your dealership, the protective flexible vinyl film should remain on until the vehicle is displayed for sale or delivered to your customer. To remove the Transseal clear protective coating, first, thoroughly rinse the entire vehicle with water. This will remove any contamination from the film and help soften the coating for removal. In cold climates, be sure to bring the vehicle inside to allow the surface to warm before removing the film. As the vehicle is rinsed, you'll notice that the coating turns a milky white color as it softens. Once the Transseal film coating is softened, it can be removed. Although we are using a pressurized water source for demonstration, Transseal can also be removed using standard water pressure from a garden hose and pressure nozzle. Either warm or cold water may be used to remove the coating. However, never use hot water. To remove the Transseal film, first remove any wrap guard material from the vehicle. Then, 
Peel back a portion of the film by hand to allow water pressure access underneath the coating. Direct the water under the film from a distance of 4 to 12 inches in a manner as to lift or separate the film from the surface. Be sure to thoroughly spray all areas where the body panels meet to remove as much overspray as possible. This will help reduce cleanup time later. Continue this process, removing the film from the vehicle panel by panel, combining peeling the coating with one hand while directing the water spray with the other. After the film has been removed from all the body panels, Film overspray removal is required at the inside edges of the hood, door jams, lift gate or trunk lid, along the bottom of the vehicle, and under any spoilers. Use the Transseal overspray remover to remove all film overspray. Pay particular attention to the bottom edges of the vehicle when cleaning the overspray. Transseal overspray remover will be available from GM SPO. The Transseal film is a non-toxic, non-hazardous film coating that can be disposed of in accordance with your local waste disposal regulations, or it can be recycled with plastics. Another benefit of the Transseal protective coating is a micronized on the vehicle's surface. After the Transseal film is removed, the wax leaves a haze on the paint finish. Wash the vehicle and rinse the GM washing procedures for clear coat finishes the haze, leaving a factory fresh luster finish. Finally, dry off the vehicle with a soft towel or shampoo finish. Without delivery preparation, exterior are ready for and technology a factory Another indicator drive providing it's all step in assuring complete customer set their new product.